now everyone is thinking if i not uh, push code in the dev branch or master branch how can i develop uh, my code so it's a very thinking scenario now so now i am coming in azure devops as a developer so developer is working uh, suppose any of the task that is pbi product backlog item suppose now he is working on uh, so now that is approved suppose he is working on project architecture design committed so he is working suppose this branch first of all he thinks something analysis after he complete the analysis part he thinking start the development so so uh, they need to create a feature branch okay so first of all say create a another feature branch from the uh, dev branch okay so first i pull uh, it from the dev i pull my code from the dev branch and now i creating a new branch that is the feature branch standard practices uh, right the, it's the pbi hyphen then the number of the pbi pbi number is nine uh, so pbi nine hyphen then write the the pbi name as a branch name so i added this as a branch name not uh, space is allowed so i created a branch uh, project architecture okay so i created a feature branch and using this uh, now i am uh, pushing code in that particular branch okay so now i close the terminal if i come to terminal again it show the now i am working that branch okay so for testing purpose i added uh, some architecture changes done here i added a commit suppose some others part also done okay so he developed something in that branch now if i stage all my code and now push it to the branch code updated okay so when you are uh, write the commit message please try to uh, add some meaningful message comment line added in into the course controller so i commit so new branch is added if i go there and now go to the repo branches you see a new branch is added there okay so uh, you know now we add some policy for the dev and master branch so without any pr or pull uh, without any pull request you are not uh, merge code into dev or master branch so dev uh, dev need to create a pull request so it's the this branch into march that branch this is the pull request it's the some comment title some description you can add you need to add a at least one reviewer so i added shown as a reviewer okay and also tag the work item so what is the work item he is working uh, if i go to the sprint the work item number is uh, nine project architecture okay 
so if i write work item 9 is a product backlog item project architecture okay and now you need to add some tags why why the tags in needed because when uh, a sprint is uh, started then we need to which uh, release uh, this uh, this feature is uh, gone so best scenario uh, we also create a google uh, excel sheet google excel sheet google sheet go to sheet blank sheet so we created a release sheet sheet and so first we change this rename to release 1.0.0 okay so first release so first release uh, this feature is go to the production so dev add a tag release 1.0.0 okay so this release is also created the pr okay so you see you cannot uh, march this complete this because at least one reviewer need to approve this branch okay so suppose is developer added uh, okay so now i am moving as a uh, reviewer of this branch if i go to the repo and click the pull request for testing there is no pull request because i created pull request for the udemy backend api repo you see the pull request assigned to me because uh, the developer added me as a reviewer so if i go there in the click the file then i observe the co comment if i think uh, this line is not needed so i add a, some message please remove this un necessary line for this pr okay so he's added a commit message okay without uh, resolve this commit a developer cannot uh, uh, march this into the dev branch okay so if uh, go now i'm moving as a developer you see the cross is coming comment must be resolved because in the project uh, repository policy we added a policy uh, if any comment is present there must be resolved this okay so developer see this shown is create a commi uh, create a comment for remove this uh, line okay so i remove this line and save this and again commit unnecessary line removed commit okay the commit is goes there and you also need to do one another work that is when your new push is done that you see uh, you see the line is removed there but the cross is also present there okay so you need to do if when you are uh, resolve this uh, problem found uh, by the reviewer you can reply this remove this line and click the reply and resolve okay so the commit uh, comment is resolved but you also now you cannot complete this review because uh, the reviewer knows not approved this pull request okay so now i am going to the reviewer overview 
I saw they also remove this line, unnecessary line. Okay. Then I think I approve this report. pull request. Okay. I approve this pull request. Now a dev can easily click the complete and the that several work already completed there. One thing is merge into the dev branch and also deleted the feature branch. Okay. So if a dev now change something suppose some modification vacation needed okay if a dev com comment again if a dev push something again if i click more line edit suppose i commit this commit okay now if dev go to their pull request and if he want to the app complete this is not possible because after the approved you also modify something so now the reviewer also again need to approve this peer okay so need to reapproved okay she also uh, he or she now again reapproved the peer. Now the dev click the refresh button and now he click the complete and complete merge. Now you see the merge is completed and code goes to the dev branch. And another things also happened. If you refresh this code, you see the project is already done. Why this is done stage? Because when you are creating PR, you added the, you also added, uh, <clears throat> added the work item, include this. Without the uh, include this, this option cannot change automatically. Okay. So, you, so when you are creating a uh, pull request we also added you need to add in work item okay so this way we can manage our workflow in the environment so every uh, best pattern is when you are uh, you are assigning any pbi for that time you also added a branch using the name of name and number of the pbi and start working that pbi then after your development is completed create a pull request then assign someone uh, when uh, he or she approve the pull request then you can merge it into the dev branch okay so i think hopefully you can understand how can you add it several branch in your environment but now you see the branch is also deleted because we added a feature when is code is merged into the dev branch that time it automatically remove the branches feature branches because the if the feature is already completed the branch is also completed okay so hopefully you understand it how to create branch and merge into the dev and how to create the pr Okay, bye-bye.